I'm here now with the founder and the owner, Lauren Stockerbach. And um, could you just tell me a little bit about the, the business and what exactly you guys specialize in? Sure. Um, we're a camera rental house. Uh, it's about a three-year-old company now. I uh, started the business pretty much uh, out of my apartment. Uh, bought my first red camera and was renting it out um, from my apartment. And it got to the point where, you know, I was having camera preps in my living room <laughs> and I needed to kind of get out of there. So from there we moved over to 1111 West Randolph. Um, wow. We were in the space over there on the first floor for about a year, a little less than a year. And then uh, we've been in, in this space uh, about a little over a year and a half coming up on two years in this, in this space at 329 Damon. So can you just talk a little bit about what exactly RED technology is? Yeah, so um, RED was founded, uh, actually the same guy who um, ran Oakley Sunglasses, uh, Jim Janner, was the founder of RED. And he's still with the company. Um, he basically decided, I'm going to take this you know, background of optics and, and make a high-end uh, professional camera that's you know, digital and it's affordable and produces you know, the quality that film's producing. Uh, and it's gone from you know, what it was in 2005, 2006 to now. It's amazing that you know, they have three different cameras now. Wow, what's the coolest thing that you've ever seen um, one of your cameras do? Well, we had a camera that was out um, on a helicopter rig once. I mean, these cameras have been rigged in so many different ways. And do you feel that it's an advantage for you being the first 3D camera house in the Midwest, or do you feel like at some point, because there's a lot of work in LA, that that may be a good advantage? Yeah, no, it's definitely, um, it's been a, it was a great move for us to jump into 3D. Um, I've kind of always been a fan of 3D, and um, it was a perfect time for us to get in when we, when we got into 3D. Uh, we've kind of marked ourselves as the Midwest as a resource for 3D. Hi, I'm John Waterman with Daffenbach Camera. This is a Red Scarlet. It's definitely a cinema style camera. Um, we use it on uh, everything from motion pictures to commercials, music videos, um, anything where you really need a, a very high quality picture. Compared to other cinema cameras, this camera um, is very small and light and portable, which makes it an ideal camera um, for situations where you're doing a lot of handheld work, you're doing a lot of steady cam work, you um, just need to be able to move around really quickly. So the Epic and Scarlet cameras record onto these SSD cards. Um, they're special to RED. This one is 128 gigabytes. Uh, they have three sizes right now. Uh, 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabyte cards. Um, they just load into the side of the camera in this slot here. And then the camera can record in a, a variety of different resolutions um, depending on how many frames per second you're doing and kind of what the scenario is. And that's where the Epic and the Scarlet kind of separate themselves. The Epic has a lot more processing capability, so it's able to do um, higher resolution and higher frame rate. The um, Epic can do 5K, the Scarlet can do 4K. Um, at uh, standard frame rates. The Scarlet can go up to um, currently 60 frames a second, um, though they have 120 frames a second uh, coming out soon. The Epic is capable of going up to 300 frames a second. When you change the frame rates though, it, it affects the resolution. Um, the higher frame rate requires a lower resolution, so you have to change the camera settings so both the Epic and the Scarlet utilize a touchscreen interface um, and you can just kind of tap on these different settings up at the top here to change them. So if I want to change the frame rate, I just tap on frame rate and I can just dial in different frame rates. So with the Scarlet camera, you can utilize up to 30 frames a second in 4K resolution. If you want to go faster than that, you have to change the resolution to a, a lower resolution. So if I change the resolution down to 2K, now I can go back to my frame rate and it now will allow me to go up to 60 frames a second in 2K resolution um, on the Scarlet camera.